Hello everybody. Welcome back to a new video for Lyceum. It's Miss Beth and I am super excited to be um, offering uh, this practice today. So what we're going to be doing today is focusing on how to draw. For some reason I've got some water on my paper so I'm going to flip um, to a new page. Um, how to draw eyes challenge for everybody, right? As we begin our portrait series um, today. So what we'll need is, oh, you can see my light with the reflection <laughs> of my mirror. What we're going to need today is a mirror and just two regular old um, pencils. I like these Ticonderoga, um, they're HB. Uh, so they're a softer pencil, um, or if your pencil says 2B on it, that's great as well. Um, if you have actual drawing pencils, that's fantastic. Those will work too. Uh, you'll also need an eraser. Mine's a really simple pink eraser. Um, if you have something more fancy like a kneaded eraser or a white eraser, that's totally cool as well. Um, but you will need a mirror. Um, if you don't have a handheld mirror, feel free to um, take this video into like your bathroom if you have a mirror there or your hallway or wherever you're able to actually observe your own eye to start this process. Now what you're gonna see is that I'm gonna draw this eye in today's video pretty large. So it's not going to be to scale to somebody's face. Um, and I'm, the reason I'm doing that is so that when you draw larger, it's easier to kind of see what's happening, to um, observe what's in front of you, and um, not worry about getting like those really small, teensy tiny details because it's blown up, it's bigger. All right, so to start today, I am going to take a look at my eye. So. Some of the things that we normally see when people are drawing their eye is that all eyes are different, right? But the basic structure of an eye is the same in everybody's eye. So the first thing we all have is an eyeball. We talk about this a lot in my classes, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna talk about it here again. As we start this drawing today, we want to start off drawing really, really light. The darker you draw, the harder the lines are to erase. And these initial lines that we make, we will be erasing them. So if you have drawn something very, very dark, it's not, you're, you're probably not going to be as happy with your drawing in the end as you might have been if you had drawn lightly to begin with. So when I say drawing lightly, I mean really light, not like this. You can see the difference in the paper, light, dark. And when you erase, you can still see that dark line. Okay, so try to draw light to begin with and you can't see the light line. All right, so the first thing, I'm not even gonna look at myself in my mirror, is we're going to draw the eyeball. Now, the eyeball is pretty large. Like I want you to feel around on your face, around your brow bone where your eyebrow is, and then your cheekbone all the way down. So that whole area all the way up along the bridge of your nose, the side of your nose, not the bridge of your nose, and across that brow bone again. It's big, right? It's it's at least, let's see, I'm gonna use my mirror now. It's at least two inches from the eyebrow down to that cheekbone, maybe even a little bit more, maybe more like two and a half, maybe almost three inches. So that eyeball sits in there and it fills up that, a lot of that space. So it's really, really big and we don't see it because our eyelid, uh, eyelids are covering it and keeping it in place for that matter because we don't want our eyeballs just going out into the open. All right, so we're gonna start today's drawing with the eyeball. So we're gonna make a circle. Now I always make my circles like, so I'm using my whole arm and I'm drawing really super light, right? and making that circular motion. If you're trying to make a circle really, really small, 
you can do the same thing, but again, we're drawing big today and it, it'll probably end up being darker than what you want it to be. Okay, so nice light circle for our eyeball. Then the next part of our drawing is the iris. So we're gonna come into the center and we're gonna draw another circle right in the middle. Now we don't normally see the whole iris when we're, draw when we're looking at our eye, right? Unless we're really super surprised <gasps> or scared, ah! Then we'll see the whole iris. So we'll talk about that in a minute as well. So putting the iris there in the middle. And then in the very center, we have our pupil. And again, drawing super, super light. All right, now what's crazy about this pupil, I'm gonna show a picture of it here in a second, is that your pupil is actually a hole, you guys, in your eye. Have you, has anybody ever seen an image of it, like a, your eye really, really up close? It is, it's an actual hole in your eye. So check out this picture. It's crazy, right? It's a hole in your eye. Never would have thought. Anyway, because that's where all the light comes in. And that's what adjusts when you go outside and it's super bright, you're the hole in your, the pupil hole gets small. If it's really dark outside or dark in your house or you go into the bathroom and the light is off, your pupil gets really big to let more light in. Pupil hole gets really big. All right, so we have got our uh, eyeball. So if you come and you feel the edge of your eye here, you can feel the on the outside edge of your eye, you can feel the bone right there in your skull. So your eyeball actually comes about there. And then your other side, same thing, go to the other side, we're gonna use, we're gonna feel that bone and then you'll feel your the edge of your tear duct. So we're gonna come over and put a little line there as well, just to give ourselves a little place there in the center. And if you notice, it's about halfway. It goes right across where your um, your uh, pupil is in your iris. All right, then we have the top of our iris. And we your iris is generally covered at least slightly by your eyelid, okay? And again, that's only, you only see your whole iris if you're super surprised or super scared. All right, and then the bottom of your eye, usually it, when you're um, just looking normal, not scared or anything like that, comes a little bit below your iris, okay? So using these guides that we've created, we're gonna create this almond shape, this basic eye shape. Now everybody's eyes are different. So again, drawing really, really light to begin with, just creating this almond shape of our eye. Then we're gonna go make some different changes here as we, as we go. All right, so now I am t going to take a look at my own eye and determine the differences between this basic eye shape that I have created and the shape of my actual eye. So the first thing I notice is that my tear duct comes down a little bit further here. All right, and then comes down. So you can see my eyes starting to look less almond shape, right? Okay, so Depending on what your eye looks like, you may be doing the same thing, coming in and creating that tear duct. I've got a pretty big tear duct here, tear duct here as well. So I'm gonna come in and put the outline of my tear duct in there. Okay, then I'm gonna come over here and notice that my eye comes up a little bit more. It's a little bit more rounded at the top. All right, and then same thing here at the bottom. It's not quite as straight. It's a little bit more rounded here in the bottom. So I'm just adjusting, and hopefully you're doing the same thing at your house, adjusting that basic almond shape so it starts to look more like your eye 
versus somebody else's generic eye because none of us are generic, right? So I'm gonna come in and erase that, that original almond shape, the guide that we created so we can see kind of where we're at. Okay, get my iris back in here. All right, so then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna erase, well, I'm actually gonna leave that so we can have where our brow, brow area is. Most went too far ahead, guys. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is this line here is where that brow is. So I'm just gonna come in and give a brief outline of where my eyebrow is. So I'm gonna come over, so mine comes up and ends over here. I'm gonna adjust that a little bit, I went in too far. So this is my nose and my brow comes up. Got nice thick brows. Yours might be thicker, they might be thinner. I'm just gonna come in with that basic shape. So mine comes over, way over. There we go. All right. Here's my basic eyebrow shape for myself. And I'm just gonna keep it nice and outlined. All right, and then the next thing I'm gonna do is come in with my eyelid. So for me, my eyelid is, we've all got them, right? Comes up and around, making that curve. bit. Now we can start to come in and erase the eyeball circle because we don't want to be all crazy eyes, right? Showing everybody what our eyeball looks like. We want to be looking at our eye itself, not just the eyeball. Okay, so it looks like, oh, there we go. That looks pretty good. All right, and remember with our drawing, we can always be making changes as we go. And as well, my eye will have a little bit more wrinkles because I'm older than you guys. All right, so we've got that in there. Now we're gonna come in and bring our lower lid in as well. It's real light here at the bottom because we don't wanna look too old, right guys? All right, so again, coming back to something that we always talk about in class, we have these misconceptions about what we think our brain does, about what things should look like. In today's class, we are looking at what actually it does look like, okay? All right, so we've got that eye. I'm gonna adjust this a little bit. Come on in a little bit more. All right. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, so next thing, we're gonna start to bring in some value into this drawing. So I am gonna put my reflections in there because your, your eye is um, kind of, it's reflective. So any, so for me, it's got the reflection from the, my light above and it's got a little reflection coming in as well from outside. All right, so I'm gonna just lightly bring those, those reflections in. And then I'm gonna come in and bring in the darkness of my pupil. It's black, right? Sometimes I see in people's drawings, they have a clear pupil. Has any, have any of you guys ever seen a clear pupil before? I have never seen a clear pupil before. So we have our nice, dark pupil. Then I'm going to come in with some shadow from my eyelid at the top here because it is overlapping my iris and casting a shadow and it's pretty dark, right? And then I'm going to start to come in and bring the outside darkness of my iris in 
Like you guys can probably hear my Hayden in the background. He's an artist and is probably pretty interested in what I'm doing right now. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna talk about right now too is I am not smudging with my fingers, am I? I'm gonna use my pencil to create that darker value and then shade it in. So see, I'm going dark and then light. And I'm doing that by how much pressure I'm applying to my pencil. So keeping those reflections in there. Dark on the outside, lighter on the inside. And we'll talk about the next step coming in here in just a second. Okay, now looking at your eye, the next thing that you're probably gonna notice is that it's got this like starburst coming out from the pupil. And we, of course, wanna add that to our drawing. So we're gonna come in and depending on what is happening with your eye, maybe you have big starbursts, maybe you have light starbursts. However, that looks with your eye. Maybe they're lighter, maybe they're not as starbursty. We're gonna bring that in. Okay, we're gonna blend it out. So I have pretty light irises. I've got like hazel green eyes, greenish bluish eyes. So remembering those little reflections, keeping them there. And once you guys, and lost my little, see, even I lost my little reflection down here. I want you guys to go in and bring out your starbursts if you have them. Maybe blend them in a little bit more if you've made them too dark. Always making your adjustments, it's okay. Erasing if you need to. So see, I've got this big clump of starburst. I'm gonna erase that, totally okay. Okay, we've got it. That looks pretty good. All right. So I'm going to blend mine even a little bit more. I like how starbursty it looks. Very good. All right. So next step is to start bringing some shadow as well. Because our eyes are round, right? So as it goes into the sides, it's going to look a little darker. We're also going to bring some shadow in. So remember, no smudging with our fingers. We can do this with just using our pencil. Even with the not, the not so fancy pencils, it's going to be okay. We've also got a shadow up here on our eyeball just like our iris from that eyelid. Okay, give us a little bit more definition here where my tear duct is. All right, next thing is coming in with our eye lid up here, the crease. So same thing. It's got a shadow that is being cast by the crease as it goes back into your eye socket. All right, so bringing that shadow in as well. Now, see, remember, this is the bridge of the nose here. So again, we've got that shadow over here as well. So it's darker here and it starts to get lighter as it heads over. Bringing in those shadows, making it look like it has more volume and roundness. All right. So eyelashes, that's where we're at next. One of the things we always see if people, when people are just starting, bring a little bit more definition here, um, drawing eyes is that we have a tendency to draw like cartoon eyes, right? So we've got, let's say we've got, you might have the almond shape of your eye but then 
the eyelashes are straight out like this. Now this is an exaggeration probably. Um, look at your own eye. They're not straight out, right? They curve up, curving up. So we want to do that same thing with our eyelashes and they're not like, now if you've got ex fake eyelashes on or mascara, you're gonna see your eyelashes are gonna be more defined and they're gonna be a little bit thicker. But natural eyelashes, they are curved. They're, some may be thicker, some may be thinner. We're gonna create And as we get towards the, th the top of the eye, they look shorter because they're actually sticking straight out at you. And then they get really small and kind of space, sparse, more towards your eyebrow or eyebrow towards the center of your face. Probably giving myself a little bit more eyelashes than I really am, guys. <laughs> hey, everybody can dream a little bit, right? So you see, we've got that eyelid down here. Um, our eyelashes on the bottom are much more spa sparse. They are curved still, but there's also a little space in between the eye lid here and the eyelashes. So same thing, we're gonna just follow along, looking at our own eye, determining kind of where they are. All right, thank you. Hayden says he loves my drawing. <laughs> I appreciate that support, buddy. Okay, so they're a little thicker on the outside, and like I said, they get a little smaller and sparser towards the inside. All right, come back in here and give us a little bit more definition. Now, the other thing that happens with our eye, too, is it's, it is round, remember? So we want these corners to look like they're going further back into the face, so we make them a little bit darker, and then I'm gonna come in and actually erase some of that line there in the middle. So it looks even more round, trying to create more volume. All right, so I haven't erased my lower eyeball yet. I'm gonna go in and do that right now. Then, um, if you look at your eye, what you'll notice now you might have black lashes, you might have brown lashes. I have blonde lashes, so mine are very, very light. I don't have any mascara on or anything like that, okay? If you have mascara on or like I said, fake eyelashes, you know, things are gonna be a little bit different. So the other thing that happens in the corner of your eye here is there's some little wrinkles. Everybody has them, even if you're really super young. Everybody's got some wrinkles and some shadows that come down. Now, the more wrinkles and more shadows you bring in, the older you look, okay? So um, keep that in mind. Maybe you've got just a little bit of light wrinkles here. All right, I'm gonna come up and do my eyebrows next. So remember what we were talking about with eyelashes? They're not straight. Eyebrows, it's the same thing. They follow the curve of your brow. So we're gonna do that same thing over here and they crisscross over each other. You might have dark eyebrows, you might have light eyebrows. We're gonna draw them how we see them on our own faces, okay? Hayden says, my son Hayden says, it looks a lot like my eye. Thank you, Hey Hey, I really appreciate that. All right, so as mine come over, they get lighter. So I'm gonna come in and lighten that up a little bit. Seems a little dark to me. And there's a shadow that comes up in from the bottom, just like everything else. Okay, come in with a little bit more. Some, I have some spare hairs coming up here as well. There you go. And I think I have, this is a little bit. Um, a little bit 
get darker here as well. All right. So I'm going to come in, just give a little bit more, a little zing here to my eyelashes. So I can see them a little bit more clearly in my mirror. I'm going to come in with a little darker shadow here. See the eyelashes too, they come down a little bit. All right, but that is the basics. I hope that you guys have found this helpful um, and that you give it a try with your own eyes. I'm gonna come in and get that out of there. Um, and that you've enjoyed uh, this video today. I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Next week, we're gonna work on noses and mouths, maybe ears too, if we have time. And then we'll do a full um, face series uh, video in a couple weeks. I look forward to seeing you guys again. See you soon. Bye-bye.